we meditate to get over our defilements. And the defilements are very clever. And one of their clever ways is that they make us feel that we're clever when we give in to them. So you have to watch out for that. If you're going to be clever, be clever in the way of the Dharma. Figure out ways to make the mind more skillful, to do the skillful thing, even though you may not like to do it. Learn how to make yourself want to do it. That's a sign of wisdom, the Buddha says. So watch out for the arguments they give. One of the arguments they give is that you're going to have to give in to them anyhow. They're just going to keep coming back, coming back, coming back until you give in. So you say, well, I just give in. Of course, they come back again after you've given in. What you should notice is they, they come, but then they go away. They come, but they go away. And sometimes a desire gets really strong. And you just have to say, I'm going to sit this one out. And it goes away. And so you realize that when they're insistent that you have to give in to them right away, that's usually a sign that they know that they can't hang on for very long. They say, we're going to give in five minutes from now, so why don't you just give in now and make it easier for both of us. And so, well, five minutes from now is five minutes from now. Right now, I'm going to be responsible for it right now. And right now is, no, I'm not going to give in. And as long as that's your policy, it's like that place where they say, you know, free beer tomorrow. You come back tomorrow and they say, well, free beer tomorrow. No, not, tomorrow never comes. So if you're solid with yourself right now, that five minutes will never have to come. Five minutes when you give in. It's always right now, right now, right now. I'm going to do the skillful thing right now. And this is what, when the Buddha talks about being in the present moment. It's not that just that you sit there and enjoy the present moment. He says there's work to be done. And you don't know how much more time you have to do it. So take advantage of the fact that you can practice the Dharma right now. And don't underestimate what you can do. As I was saying yesterday, sometimes it's a split second when you suddenly come to a realization that cuts through a lot of the, the garbage in the mind. So you never know. Five minutes of meditation might make a big difference. As long as the quality is good, the quantity doesn't matter. And you get both quality and quantity, okay, then that's, that's even better. But it's the quality that counts. So try to be on top of the mind all the time. Use your concentration, use the breath as a way of making yourself comfortable as you're being on top of things. And watch out for the whatever new, clever ways the divinements have of coming in and insinuating them into you and into your sense that you've got to give in to them. If you're clever in dealing with them, okay, that's when you're really clever. 